Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Explosion strikes Israeli owned ship in Mid East amid tension. An explosion struck an Israeli owned cargo ship sailing out of the Middle East on Friday, an unexplained blast renewing concerns about ship security in the region amid escalating tensions between the US and Iran. The crew and vessel were safe, according to the United Kingdom Maritime Trade Operations, which is run by the British Navy. The explosion in the Gulf of Oman forced the vessel to head to the nearest port. Dryad Global, a maritime intelligence firm, identified the stricken vessel as the MV Helios Ray, a Bahamian-flagged roll-on, roll-off vehicle cargo ship. Another private security official, who spoke to the Associated Press on condition of anonymity to discuss intelligence matters, similarly identified the ship as the Helios Ray. Satellite tracking data from website marinetraffic.com showed the Helios Ray had been nearly entering the Arabian Sea around 6 o'clock GMT Friday before it suddenly turned around and began heading back toward the Strait of Hormuz. It was coming from Dammam, Saudi Arabia, and still listed Singapore as its destination on its tracker. Israel's Channel 13, in an unsourced report, said the assessment in Israel is that Iran was behind the blast. Israeli officials did not immediately respond to requests for comment. The Iranian government did not comment on the blast Friday. The blast comes as Tehran increasingly breaches its 2015 nuclear accord with world powers to create leverage over Washington. Iran is seeking to pressure Biden to grant the sanctions relief it received under the deal that former President Donald Trump abandoned nearly three years ago. Captain Ranjit Raja of the data firm Refinitiv told the AP that the Israeli-owned vessel had left the Persian Gulf Thursday bound for Singapore. On Friday at 2.30 GMT, the vessel stopped for at least nine hours east of a main Omani port before making a 360-degree turn and sailing toward Dubai, likely for damage assessment and repairs, he said. The vessel came loaded with cargo from Europe. It discharged vehicles at several ports in the region, Raja added, including in Bahrain, the United Arab Emirates and Saudi Arabia, with its last port of call at Dammam. While details of the explosion remained unclear, two American defense officials told the AP that the ship had sustained two holes on its port side and two holes on its starboard side just above the waterline in the blast. The officials said it remained unclear what caused the holes. They spoke to the AP on condition of anonymity to discuss unreleased information on the incidents. A United Nations ship database identified the vessel's owners as a Tel Aviv-based firm called Ray Shipping Limited calls to Ray Shipping rang unanswered Friday. Abraham Unger, 74, who goes by Rami, is the founder of Ray Shipping Limited and is known as one of the richest men in Israel. He made his fortune in shipping and construction. According to the Nikola Y., Vapsarov Naval Academy, where Unger provides support and maritime training, he owns dozens of car-carrying ships and employs thousands of engineers. The U.S. Navy's Bahrain-based Fifth Fleet said it was aware and monitoring the situation. The U.S. Maritime Administration, an agency of the Transportation Department, issued a warning to commercial shippers early Saturday acknowledging the explosion and urging ships to exercise caution when transiting the Gulf of Oman. While the circumstances of the explosion remain unclear, Dryad Global said it was very possible the blast stemmed from asymmetric activity by Iranian military. As Iran seeks to pressure the United States to lift sanctions, the country may seek to exercise forceful diplomacy through military means, Dryad reported. In the tenth summer of 2019, the U.S. military blamed Iran for explosions on two oil tankers near the Strait of Hormuz, one of the world's most strategic shipping lanes. The U.S. also had attributed a series of other suspected attacks to Iran, including the use of limpet mines designed to be attached magnetically to a ship's hull to cripple four oil tankers off the nearby Emirati port of Fujairah. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.